in between this and the last recording I already started the game so I get some halfway okay borders again for the moment at least I'm still not entirely certain how am I over the vassal limit but I've also not really looked into it so who's the real winner here okay we have a lovely Marie de Macon who we could take as a concubine um she's a whole lot of good things so maybe she could teach us a thing or two okay let's try let's have her as our concubine oh she's a naked lady and our friend here what a man he is She's so cute. Look at them cheeks. You are still at war. Are you even still there? Okay, yeah, th there are some bits and pieces left. Of the Byzantine Empire, the once very strong Byzantine Empire. What titles? Kingdom of Cyprus. It's down here. What else? Duchies, a whole lot of duchies. You can have that. Is that not fantastic? Let's see. We could get rid of our last few. What? Oh. Concern for our current war against nobody. He gives us gold and stress relief. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> He's the best friend we ever had. Wait. Oh, no. They are helping us, so they are highlighted as such. County of Marash. Oh, our concubine is pregnant indeed. Oh, she could become our best friend. Let us have her be our best friend indeed. So you belong to the Kingdom of West Francia. Giving that away doesn't really help us. Isn't there a Kingdom of Brittany there? Yeah, okay. Are you of my house? You are. So you will get the Kingdom of Brittany. Are you excited? If I could find it, I would give it to you. There you go. Aren't you just super excited? And I grant you this vassal. And I grant you that vassal. And that should take care of it for now. Brittany is our coastal ruler here. Okay, he's left in one single war. Against whom? Kimik. Doesn't sound like anything that's ours.
Time between mental breaks. Nah. Let's go with wash our hands. Our dear wife is also pregnant again. Five thousand, so halfway there, more or less. Oh, something over here broke. They will inevitably form a new faction against us. Will not be prevented. Oh, what happened to you, lady? Oh, you're a leper. A newborn daughter to our naked wife. Look at her. Another great one. And she will be called after her mother. And you will bring us Persia. That's decent. Go for it. I don't really care with these breeding programs. Whatever happens, happens. It's fine by me. Oh. Yeah. We'll take that. Let's see if our A team can do this again. My god. Okay, he is clearly our best. Looks like we are fairly well winning. No! Darn it. Our claim broke. Now move so I can stand you down again. Ah. Such a shame. Fine then. Guess what? We're still coming for you. And we're still coming for the same thing. It's not an excuse, my friend. We will have our war. Let's have some water here. Hydrate. Oh, look at that. Twins. Look at them. Fantastical. Oh. 
Look at those options there. Oh. What is this? Inbred. You sure? Let's go for that. <laughs> Twins. This day is in your honor, my dear. She is my wife, my sister-in-law, and my knight. Let's become soulmates with her. She is perfect. She has given us many children already. I'm sure she will give us many more. Okay, the lady is bleeding out. Let us help her immediately. Very good. And be proud of us for helping here. I think they're down here somewhere. At least that's where I saw troops move. There, they scatter like roach. Is roaches. What I wanted to say. Oh well. Didn't even have to fight for anything important there. Good. Good. So now we have a whole lot of land to give away again. And also titles to create. I farted. You get all this. And you get this and this. And you get all of this. I stand down. And now... We find a good, honest, dynastic ruler. In the Kingdom of Arabia, a little bit stronger. Our new conquests. Right. Who else can we bother? I don't really care for all this area. Let's take care of all this area here. All these small little tiny things. Do I even have enough piety for all this? Yes. 
I do. Uh, my vassals can sort this one out. I don't care. Remember, remember when Aquitaine was a huge issue to us because they immediately converted to Islam after a crusade. Remember that? I remember. All those issues we had so long ago. They all seem so quaint now. Do they not? Who holds this? You got all that? Did I even have to give that? Like, was that mine to give? I don't know. Or just gave stuff. I don't think I was allowed to give that stuff. But no one told me not to. Sometimes being the sole ruler isn't actually the best idea. People just don't tell you these things anymore. Okay. Just give stuff away. I don't care. Whatsoever. Who else do we have around here? Titles for conversions, isn't that lovely? It's blue, it doesn't belong to us, it's just blue. You have this. Enjoy. Don't know if it's actually for you, belongs to you, should be you, but that's fine. We have a high chance we're going to lose this duel. Let's bribe him. He's a liar. Ah, she's not impressed. So, no more rivalry. Okay, by me. Hey, Byzantines! I don't think we can usurp while we are at war ourselves.
Any good alliances? Not really. Thau is the last remnant of the Byzantine Empire, really. There are some more little things sitting around, ready to be taken. We're still dealing with this silly crusade business. Disease resistance. Nice. And our fertility goes up as well. Let's see. Anyone good here? 44. Why are all these prisoners so old? My men, please. From now on forward, make sure you get us something younger. Right. Taken care of. I think taken care of. Seventeen versus twenty-three. It's fair enough. Do this. Um. um, 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 um. If one holds strong hook on the lady we saved with the tourniquet. All right. Clan of Ajuran. Oh, that's down here. And the Despotate of Sao. Very good. Still only hold a bunch of duchies there. You... Get the Kingdom of Arjuran as well. And Nubia. You get the Kingdom of Sao as well. Sound good? And now we can declare war on them for this. <laughs> that would be taken care of. They have more troops. Let's see what our A team can do. Unlucky they never got to bring their troops to bear, so... Hmm. Yeah, okay, that... That was... Terrible. For them. Not so much for me. Are you still at war? He's like at war again.
Give me my duchy title back. I have to find another solution up here. Oh wait, is all of this mine again now? Oh, I only wanted the duchy title. Okay, let's see. What is... Art... Of this duchy, all that. How about we do that? And yeah, that should be fine. Taken care of it. She couldn't be more wrong. I mean, we have a 100% outcome here, and yet we still need to kind of work around it. <sighs> See, never take love for granted. That's a big ass kingdom. You got the Persia. Need to be a little bit careful that I don't create too many super mega kingdoms. But we don't have all that many potential vassals. Much at the limit here. Come on, guy. Stop being destroyed from the world. Is there a way to increase our vassal limit anyway? Uh, let's see. Don't really see it seem like it. Okay, our dear giantess wife becomes our soul maid. That's great. So her we will seduce so she becomes at least our lover. Barony of Utrillas, sure. No one is pregnant, however. Ah! That's the tiny complaint, and the pregnancy happens. Ah, everyone is pregnant. Really quite slim pickings here. That's a bunch of living members. Goodness.
Oh, Mali broke. Or is breaking, rather. And more song high. I'll ask her, our oh, dear soulmate. Oh no. Imprisonment for her. Why can I not divorce her? Ah, because she's considering a proposal from us. Okay, time to find a new wife. And we go by inheritable traits, age difference 10. Adult, adult, healthy, healthy, religion, ours, culture, French. And now we sort by age. And we have a quick look here. There's someone really good. The four traits. Squeezing. It's a trait, it's not inheritable, is it? No, oh, it is inheritable. So many minor traits. Let's go with her, our sister in law. I know. Gonna we'll try to get done. No? Well, okay then. Uh, let's get her. Should be halfway fine. There we go. So could I take my ex-wife as my concubine? Yes. Ah. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Oh, little Cecile. Hey, Raquel. Will be a uh, Raquel. Prince Guy of Persia. Good enough. All right. Does he not have disputed heritage? That's okay. We'll find you someone halfway decent. Her.
Why? It's kind of like opening the fridge all the time. You know there's nothing new, but you just keep going back. All right. She is our lover. Time to make another soulmate. And stare at the Byzantines. To eventually get that title. Our new wife is pregnant. Very good. And our best friend gives us support for our terrible, terrible war. Oh, wait. The further I delve into my studies, the more apparent the link between mind and body becomes. Too much worry can make you sick, and the mind is no stronger than it is vessel. My friend Sony journals about his worries and swears he eases his mind. So we could become a journaler, or we could go for a run, becoming athletic. I think we're going to go for Jornala because it gives us another learning point. The Bazelius is only 17, so young. A lot of pressure. I'm quite looking forward to the point where we have reached the age that we wish to reach. So we can go ahead and um, free all of our vassals to get the 10 kings achievement. I mean, I could do it already, but why? Why would I? Let's have another feast. And while we feast, we stare at the Byzantines. <laughs> Lovely. And she will be called after her mother, Margot. Oof. He's a good one. Find her something halfway acceptable without searching too long because that just takes time. That's pretty decent. Back to staring at the Byzantines. Our ex-wife concubine is ready <laughs> to bear us another child. That was pretty cool. I mean, imagine if you could do that. Like, you marry someone, then you divorce them, and then you force them to be a concubine. That's, that's kind of... It's a bit of a crazy chain of events, really. Okay, they lost another war. They're about to lose one more against Ruthenia, which is one of our vassals, I believe. I would like to free you from your little shackle. Didn't really read that. That was too much text for my very sleepy brain.
Flame on Vermandois. Oh no. Um Nah. I'm just waiting for this still. Can you lose your war a little bit quicker, please? She gets a weak hook on us. No, I can manage just fine. The Roger Millionaid. Jordan, he will be called. And you get... Her. Not ideal, but... You won't be my last child. It matters not. Come on. Finish that war. And we have saved her, making her our soulmate. Now let's seduce our ex-wife turned concubine. <laughs> it's, it's so silly, but fun. Forty-four percent. I just want this title. It can't be this hard. Fifty-three percent. If two hundred troops. Fantastic. With the smallest empire in the history of empires. Our daughter and vassal is nothing less than honored to serve us. Fantastic. Such a good girl. 71%. Getting there, getting there. What are you even fighting for? A good French name. Little Sophie. She's really quite good. Let's see. Anyone halfway up to her standards? Make sure matrilineally is fine, which I think it is for the most part. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a good one. Like, literally, what are you fighting over? Duchy of... Voronsh... Voronsh? What is the Duchy of Voronsh? Does that even exist? Where could it be? Hmm. 
Now they started another war. Oh. With a 95% chance of success, we call her a whore and it fails. Smooth. Very smooth. At least this war should be over quick. Cowed vassal. A regular parade should be enough. And Pontus also jumps on them again. I I will I will never get this title. They are in a perpetual state of war. It's worse than us. To my kind ex husband. Come on, girl. She hates us. All right. We'll know when death comes knocking. Ah! She's good. Let's get her then. Empty council position. Merit. And off we go. I'll just keep watching the Byzantine Empire fall to pieces. It's kind of like bird watching, but for Empress. He really doesn't like us, does he? He would like to have a bunch of things. You know what? We could just make an end to all this by crusading for this here area. That would just put a stop to it once and for all. Let's do that. That is just stop this silly business. Deals boot, my friend. And off we go. We want a bunch of troops. A new daughter. A dwarf and a giantess. So it should come out normal. And we get a bird automaton for 15 years. It's like bird watching, but different. Let's take it apart. He wasn't happy with this, but he needn't be happy with it. Somehow the Byzantines gathered a whole bunch of armies. Which is quite nice. And we're still getting all the achievements we already had. Let's get this done. Ah, 
Yeah, he will be another Andrew. I just go by amount of options at this point. It's great. Rest of my armies should be fine. On Crusaders, do your thing. Enemy war leader captured. Very good. Let's consult with more priests. We want all the experience we can get. It's a fairly successful crusade, I would say. So far, anyway. We have won against the Christian Catholics again. When will they learn? Oh god, are we old enough to already gracefully age? It's terrifying. Okay. Alright, I can now finally create this. I can create the kingdom here, which we'll do. And we will create the Byzantine Empire. And we will add laws and say equal. And since we created it, it should already have the correct succession laws and not be a, some weird electorate. And with the Byzantine Empire in our care, where is it? There it is. Yep, empires equal ultimo genitor. Well, that's a big one. Quite the big one. And we now have a bunch of du jour claims here, pretty much. And disband our troops. Can't really go to war against them. Also, not here. Alright. Reclaim Constantinople. Restore the true seat of the Empire. Oh! We can restore the Roman Empire. Finally, there it is. Okay, wait a minute. All these other empires are destroyed. The Roman Empire will be restored and acquire the de jure of all currently held empires. We get the trained Augustus, we get the Roman Empire. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. We're so far in. I will restore the Roman Empire. The dawn of a new era. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your heirs. After the miraculous recovery of territory lost centuries ago, the Roman Empire has been reborn. Europe has endured dark times since barbarians stormed the imperial frontiers, but now a bright new age has dawned. 
for all civilization. We are countless Greek pretenders. Uh, where countless Greek pretenders failed, it took one French to succeed, restoring the failed empire of the Greeks. The Imperium Romanum stands strong once more, restored to its ancient glory under my enlightened rule, ready to spread civilization, safety, and the holy light of our Lord to all corners of the known world. Okay. Esto perpetua. So it is forever. Um... Yeah, let's go on a pilgrimage. Uh, we're over our domain limit. Why is that? Our capital is here. Grant to noble. Grant to noble. Okay, let's roll quick. Succession law equal ultimo genitor. All good. So, all of our empires were destroyed, but now everyone should be de jure our vassal. Cool. Let's unpause real quick, and we get the achievement. I didn't, I didn't think we would do it. I didn't think we would. I didn't think we could. So, I am impressed. That was, that was fun. That was good. I like that. I can cross this off my list here. My physical list. That's amazing. Okay, let's go on a pilgrimage. Wow, uh, we'll end it here because that's fun. That's really fun. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you around next time. Bye-bye.